joining me. I'm standing on the Slough Road Bridge above the M25. This is the road that way goes to Uxbridge, that way goes to Slough. Now just down there is what I think is possibly the lowest bridge on any public right of way in Great Britain, possibly the world. It's so low, I've had to bring my tape measure with me. We're going to go down there and see just how low this bridge is. So, this very, very low bridge, I found it a couple of weeks ago when I was doing my video on the River Alderbourne. So I'm going to leave the Slough Road here, down this public footpath, down through the trees to the River Alderbourne. We're going to follow the River Alderbourne and it's just beyond the confluence with the Colne Brook. So the bridge itself is on the Colne Brook but also carries a public right away, which later would rejoin the Slough Road very close to Uxbridge. We'll go there later on in the video. So what happened was um, a few weeks ago I did part one of the River Alderbourne, that was in Fulmer, and then I did part two. Now part two, as I said, the river's very secretive, you can hardly see it, um, and it hardly features at all because we can hardly find it, but that, that's the Alderbourne down there. Um, if you want to see more about the Alderbourne then please do look at the link on screen now, you'll see that video on the River Alderbourne. As for the Slough Road, this is the original course here of the Slough Road. You can just see see how the um, the pavement's still here. You can still see the curved stone of the pavement. So this is the original Slough Road. When they built the motorway, they needed to take the road up to a higher alignment to clear the motorway. So here's the original bridge over the River Alderbourne. And um, if you look just down there, you can see how they've had to put in a much higher alignment over the Alderbourne and over the motorway. So I'm going to follow this path down here, we're going to go and go to that bridge and as I said I've got my tape measure, I'm going to measure it because I want to know exactly how high it is. The height does vary slightly from one side to the other but I genuinely think it might be the lowest bridge on any public right of way in the UK. So let's go down there and find it. I've just come along the bridle way, the motorway is just there as you can probably hear. Here is the River Colnebrook. Now as for the Alderbourne, it literally joins it. I can't show it to you because it's on public, I'm sorry, on private land rather. It's literally just behind these bushes here. There, that's where the confluence is. But as you can see, you can't really see a lot because there's a fence. And then on this side, there's the M25. So this bridge, which is a public footpath, is very, very, very low. Um, it's, I reckon it's got to be the lowest bridge on a public right away. Look. So I'm going to get the tape measure out and say, but look, this is me. That is the bridge. It clearly says footpath to Uxbridge, but look, I'm having to go so low. It's just a bit, um, bit ridiculous, but you know, I think this possibly is the lowest footbridge. What I want to do now is get my tape measure out and see just how low this bridge is. So let's find out exactly how low this bridge is. So from the bottom of the path to the top of the bridge, in old money it's 30 inches or um, 76 centimetres. So let's say it's 2 foot 6 inches, that's the same width as the track on the Welshpool and Landfair Railway, Sittingbourne and Kemsley Railway and Whipsnade Zoo Railway. So think, if you're ever at any of those railways, you look at the track and think there's a bridge the same height as the width of those track so this is very low I think further down it probably does get taller which we'll soon find out we will measure the other side um, but I don't think there can possibly be a lower bridge than this but what I'm going to do now is um, crawl underneath it oh, I'm now going to crawl under so I'm at that lowest bit the two foot six inch height bit um, it does immediately get a little bit higher what I'm going to do, so at the moment I am having to crawl because that's how low it is. As it gets slightly higher, so now I can kind of crouch and walk so I don't get my trousers too dirty, but put it this way, you pretty much, unless you're really short, so as in unless you're a child, you pretty much um, have to be prepared to crawl at one point. It's quite nice seeing the calm brook, so calm and the um, reflection of the top of the bridge. Now when I get halfway through, there is a um, slightly taller bit, a 
think it's, as I'm going this way, it's getting slightly, slightly taller. But I've got to be really careful. I don't want to bang my head. And now here, here, it gets lower. Um, and then here, ooh, it's dark. This is in the middle. Um, I need some light. We have light. So this is that funny bit. We're in the middle of the two carriageways. So at this point I can stand up. Um, got plenty of headroom, but not a lot of room either way. It'd be a squeeze if there was more than one person here. Not a good place to go if, um, if you don't like spiders, the, the camera's going to pick them out. But there's loads of spiders and flies and stuff, so don't come down if you don't like spiders. Um, I wonder if anyone's ever, ever uh, tried fishing in here, because it's quite a nice secluded spot. And um, I've, I'd always be interested in how many people actually do walk along this footpath, or what we'll call it on this footpath, <laughs> um, further back there. Um, not that many, although I have seen when I came down here, I did the Alderbourne, after the bridge, I did see a gentleman walking towards it. Whether he actually went through or not remains a mystery. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to um, get back down and uh, we can see light again, daylight at the other end. I'm going to make my way to the other end of the bridge. We're going to measure it at that end. It's going to be taller at that end, but just, just for fun, we might as well measure it and see what it's like at that end. So here we are at the other end of this ridiculously low bridge. It's obviously quite a bit higher at this end, but still lower than most other bridges on a punk right away. So let's find out exactly what we're talking about this time. Okay, so it is um, in metric, it's um, 145 centimeters, so more than a meter this time. In imperial, it's 57 inches, so four foot nine inches so half an inch wider than a standard gauge railway line so if you like we've gone from um the two foot six of railways like the world's prawn land fair to half an inch wider than standard gauge railways what i'm going to do now though i'm going to follow the coal brook towards uxbridge and to the point where it actually comes off the river coal so i'm pretty sure this is the lowest bridge on any public right away so certainly the lowest bridge i've ever been under just one other thing, I noticed, um, don't know if the camera's going to pick it out, but just see FP and then I. So it must have once said footpath to Iver, because obviously the other end it says footpath to Uxbridge or Iver, or Iver Heath. But it looks like it's been graffiti and then they've painted over the graffiti. But there is actually supposed to be a sign there. So, as for the footpath now, now it leaves the low bridge, although it's not quite so low at this end, behind. Because up here, you can really see footpath sign turning me the way and if you were going the other way you'd get a bit of a surprise now just after recording that last clip I went back through the bridge to take the thumbnail image for this video and I'll tell you what it is very hard work going through there in the opposite direction because although you're going downstream the path is going uphill so it gets narrower and narrower and it gets to a point where you feel you can't crouch anymore and you just have to crawl and um, it's probably not the cleanest of places so we're sitting here on this track, it's private property over the bridge, obviously that's the M25. As for the footpath, well, nothing quite as exciting, but it takes on a bit of an interesting route. The private driveway goes that way. We're going to go up here and we'll follow the Colnebrook. So you can see a clear footpath through here, um, which will take us towards Uxbridge and um, the River Colne, where the um, River Colne or the, and the Colnebrook Park Company. So it's kind of, it's completely changed character now. Um, as I said, that's the driveway down there. We're just going to continue along. Colnebrook's down there and um, soon we'll be in Uxbridge. One other thing I'm just going to mention, I don't know too much about it, but there was once some narrow gauge railways over there when all of this was gravel pits. Maybe a video for another day. I'm not sure at this stage. I've just got to keep following this path really. It's um, like I said, I don't think that many people walk down there, but it's nicely cleared. So, you know, you can see the way if you want to come along, or maybe you just want to come along up to the bridge and not go under it just to see the lowest bridge. But I'm going to continue down there and soon we shall get a better view of the Colne and the Colne Brook. So I've now come along this winding path following the banks of the Colne Brook. We're almost back at the Slough Road. You can just see the bridge there. 
and um, over the other side is Uxbridge. So for the majority of this video we've been in Buckinghamshire, we're still in Buckinghamshire but once we cross the Colm and the Colm Brook we will be in Greater London so um, that's how close we are, we're just outside London. I believe the Colm at this point forms the boundary between Buckinghamshire and Greater London. Um, there was a funny bit here I noticed when I did the Alderbourne one. It seems this is the original footpath. The newer footpath takes you out that gate just there. But the older footpath, complete with sign, has been um, sort of blocked off for some reason. Um, not that I can see a problem or reason why it needs to be blocked off. So here is the Colm and Colm Brook. Have a look at this. So look, it clearly says public footpath. But there's this here. Maybe this, if you can't get under this, you can't get under the low bridge. That's the only reason I can think for this being here. So, under I go. That was very, very easy compared to going under a motorway. And here we come across the River Colne and the Colne Brook. As you can see, we're on the Slough Road still. And it's at this point here, that is the Colne Brook. And the other side of Weeping Willow is where the main course of the River Colne goes. And um, as soon as we come off this bridge, we'll be in Uxbridge, London Borough of Hillingdon. So, from the River Colne, I hope you enjoyed this video under what I think has to be one of the lowest bridges ever. Um, if you do know of a lower bridge on a public right of way, so it's got to be a bridge that you can walk under that is on a public right of way, if you know of a lower one, one that's lower than two foot six inches please do comment and tell me i would really love to see it um i might even just go there like as long as it's not like um miles and miles away but if it's in london and the home counties then there's no reason you know why i wouldn't go there so yeah if you know of a lower bridge please do comment and tell me i'd love to know if that really is the lowest bridge on a public right of way in great britain if not the world Anyway, from clearly Uxbridge, or technically this is probably Cowley, but Uxbridge and Cowley, London Borough of Hillingdon, Greater London, thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Goodbye.